Greetings, wonderful people. I'm back. Torture removal. I think we said that one. We're gonna go with unconscious zombies. We're still at the chilling spot. You're strapped on my chest. It's official. So unconscious zombies. The wor this world is full of unconscious zombies. Who keep on screaming ouch after they hit stones and walls continuously in their un unrestrained, unrestrained unconsciousness. Put their hand in fire time after time and forget that it burns from the last time. To get conscious is a choice and not many seem interested as they have no shame about being unconscious. Automatic consciousness. See the sky, eh? Beautiful. Look at this. It's beautiful with the clouds, eh? When they're natural clouds. Eh? Automatic consciousness. People here strive for a lot of things. But they take consciousness for granted. As if anything which is born will automatically have consciousness. Consciousness is not an automatic thing, it is something which one has to strive for continuously. Because if one lets up even for a second, one loses it. The art of deliberate ignoring. The gene snakes haven't learned much in their long crawl out here. But they all seem to have learned the noble art of deliberate ignoring. Some are more expert at it than others. It goes like this. Whenever they see some being more interesting and attractive than themselves, and thus naturally feel drawn towards it, they immediately retract. And think that they are not interested at all. Instead, they try to attract the other being in their limited ways. Males usually jump around crazily, showing off their physical prowess. Females jut out their mammary glands and change their gait. Couples, couples start sno snogging each other. After making sure they are in line of sight, some try and show off their, show off their skills, knowledge and loud conversations. Some just pretend to be overly happy and satisfied. Some, some start, some start staring into their mobile, <laughs> fucking bibit down here. Staring into their mobile with unflinging penance like con concentration. Some go to crazy lengths to appear busy, nothing subtle about this art. Nothing subtle about this art. What they hope to gain from this strategy, besides giving the ire being some laughs, is hard to conceive. After all, who needs who? Boring and interesting. Fact, many are bored, really bored. So bored that the safety mindlessly associated with boring has gotten boring too. Mindlessly, I say, because boring equals safe means dumb equals safe. Dumbness leads to accidents, disaster, not safety. So why do they cling to the dumb and boring and not make a movement towards the more intelligent and interesting? Interesting not in the sense of bungee jumping, because that gets boring too, after one or two tries. Interesting in terms of the real knowledge uh, of all aspects of multiversal existence. Really, exi really interesting. In this hyper-connected world, where more interesting can always be found, there are no excuse, but still very few actually are able to do it. Maybe the scenario will explain, will help explain. People on buses, trains, airports hide their faces in books that lead nowhere and pretend that they never saw you. They would be the same even if God walked by.
difficult to pull off act considering the huge gulf between interesting and boring at play in this situation. But they achieved the impossible by robotically repeating this holy chant loudly in their head. Book is more important. Book is more important. I have chosen the book. My choice is number one priority. I am in control of the book. Through the book, I am in control of this situation. We replace book with pet, partner, mobile, and so forth, and you get the picture. The biggest addiction, only real epidemic. Contrary. Contrary to general belief, it's not alcohol or drugs most beings here are addicted to. Getting attention from others for no apparent rhyme or reason is the biggest addiction out here. It takes them all straight to hell. Giving attention to higher and divine is praise with proper and praise with proper addiction is the only cure for this massive addiction. Jumping and yelling, lots of beastly and bratty jumping and yelling going on by the various gene snakes here to get attention. Some more than others. They call it music, sports, etc., etc. What they would actually do with each other's attention remains a mystery. The mass in masses. Deep down, everyone at some point or other feels small, but when one is actually confronted with something higher, treating one as one off to be treated, one's reaction is that of an ease. Through the peculiar functionings of the ego, one knows one is small, but in society one is always used to being treated like one isn't. There is a whole net of mutual assurance in place to keep the ego afloat. Thus, the term mass mutual assurance society. No real evolution is possible without the ego cracking, something which is taboo in this celebration of the self world.